Okay, my friends, Roger, Mud Fossil University. This is going to sound like a uh, commercial for this GBS ink, and it could very well be because it is. Uh, this is turned me up to volume 12. Let's get into it because I understand this intimately, and there is so much potential here. It's freaking blowing my mind. Okay, you know how I am about bacteria and probiotics. Well, guess what? This goes way back to 2003. Novel method to control pathogenic bacteria, human mucous membranes. Listen to this. Nearly all infections begin at a mucous membrane site. The mucus isn't there to protect you. Something happened. Something killed the bacteria that makes the mucus. The mucus just doesn't appear there by accident. This is also the human mucous membranes are a reservoir for many pathogenic bacteria found in the environment. All kinds of bad things, but you're, they're supposed to stay on their side. That's the problem. The good bacteria is being killed with pro I mean antibiotics and all that kind of stuff and then once you get a weak spot you're set up to be invaded and then you get stage one stage two stage three stage four because it gets worse and worse and worse and worse you need to repopulate these areas what do you repopulate them with we don't even know what we need to do is be able to take this new technology and sample all these areas and find out what's supposed to be there if it's not there we can put some more in there that's all let's just start here world's first organic thin film transistor technology organic means that they organic things transfer molecules back and forth they have certain electrical characteristics that can be actually seen and that's what they're doing is they are using these little strips to take saliva and blood and so forth and then on that strip there's these metal complexes and they have ligands they call it they they attach to things these antibodies and uh, antigens and antibodies and then they can see the molecular fingerprint and this is the place it's called um, biosensor well I don't know if that's the name of it well it's GBS Inc and this guy is Professor Paul DeStore. Now, I am going to show you this video because it is fabulous. I mean, this is just, uh, I am up at, way up at the top of my game today because I understand this and so much potential here for almost nothing. We've been working in the area of organic electronics for about 20 years now, but about 10 years ago, we started working on building transistors the exciting thing here now is that we can embed biological molecules, things like enzymes, directly into the transistors. Did you hear what he said? Enzymes into the transistors. You know what enzymes are? Those are the, the molecule makers and breakers. That's what enzymes do. And sometimes they do good things and sometimes they do bad things. An enzyme is exactly identical to a virus. Only a virus, you say, oh, a virus is going to hurt you. Well, an enzyme can hurt you too. It's the same thing. Uh, an enzyme, sometimes it does good things. It breaks down your digestive things and all that business. Now, listen, here he goes. It's the structure to create highly sensitive sensors. What is a biosensor? A device that monitors and transmits information about a biological process. The glucose biosensor consists of an organic thin film transistor which integrates glucose oxidase and reacts with salivary glucose. Resu All right, whenever they talk about a transistor, there's resistance. It means if electricity comes in and so much, this, I'm going to keep you back at 10 ohms of resistance. It pushes back. Well, it can, if you can transfer that, depending upon what the material is that you put on this chip. And it says, well, hey, we got some glucose in here. Well, hey, yeah, it changes everything, so obviously. So now it's coming through here at a certain different characteristic of electricity. And they can see that. And they say, oh, we got 10% glucose. It's got one part in 27 billion, whatever it is. It's, it's so phen phenomenally precise what they should be able to do with this and it's so cheap to do this i mean it, it just floored me when i saw the technology resulting in hydrogen peroxide which is decomposed into proton ions generating an electrical signal this signal is then processed by a smart device so what we've been able to do for the first time is to combine 
printing electronics with biological sensing. That means that we're able to detect molecules like glucose using sensors that we can print millions of, using really low cost printing apparatus. Not only that, by combining the biological sensing molecule directly with the printed electronic component, we're able to do it with much greater accuracy and sensitivity. Indeed, we can now detect glucose at the levels that it's found in your saliva, a hundred times lower concentration than it exists in your blood. What's really exciting, actually, is that this technology that we've developed is actually a platform technology, which means that it will be widely applicable to detecting a variety of substances that identify a range of diseases. So, for example, we're already looking for the substances that would identify cancer, heart disease, allergies. All right, th this is the key right now. I need to talk about this in, in detail because they're looking for something that I think they should look in a different place and I'll explain to you what I mean. All right, when I say they should be looking in a different place, I, I mean, I, I, these guys know what they're doing. I don't mean to step on any of their turf whatsoever. However, I don't think that doctors understand, and all doctors, I'm not talking about these guys specifically, all doctors, they don't understand the extreme implications of bacteria inside your body in the membranes of your body that separate tissues from other tissues. Those membranes are bound with bacteria, I believe. Now, I could be wrong, but I believe they are. And I, I think I'd like to, well, I'd love to see them do some testing to see if that's correct. And they could do these little tiny biopsies and see what's in there, what kind of bacteria and so forth. Maybe they'll extract a little fluids or whatever, or do them from people that expire. And you can test their tissues post-mortem very quickly and see what bacteria was in what layers of the tissues and if it's not there you're subject to invasion because the bacteria that's on your skin uh, well it's on your skin it's on your lungs it's on your heart it's on your kidneys it's on your testicles it it when it gets attacked it protects itself when it protects itself it protects the contents of whatever it's coating which may be a testicle it may be um, pancreatic cancer, it might be gallbladder, it might be who knows what, intestines. You don't have the bacteria there, you won't have the mucus. You don't have the mucus, you don't have the protection. You don't have the protection, you get sick. Now, we could use these strips. I mean, I, it's unbelievable. I would have them just coming every single, well, let me show you something. All right, anybody who's been around me knows about transition metals because these babies are the things that make you live. That's what's in your blood. This is literally what allows your blood to give and take, <laughs> to transition metals. And here they are right there, that whole block. And then they use some other ones here and there, you know, and the carbon is the backbone and you got oxygen that makes things work and all this stuff is, is is all understood to some degree but if if you don't have these transition metals in the right quantities in the right places at the right times you don't get the right stuff moving that's number one secondly you have to have the correct bacteria within your body in the correct places to keep things pushed to shove you know you stay away from me I stay away from you and everything's good I protect my guys you protect your guys once one there's a hole in there so ooh, ooh, send some of my guys in and beat your guys up because you got nobody to stop us that's the problem if you and it's the bacteria now if we can make these little films and then they can find out what bacteria should be where and you come and you say oh this is killing me my left side is hurting me well they do some little whatever they do and find out if there is that bacteria is there or not or is there some other bacteria that we can test with these little strips very non-invasive they may even be able to put a little needle in there and come back out and have all these transition metals on there i don't know but th this is extremely exciting to me because i understand how the chemistry of this will affect the flow of electrons.
and you could see them. I mean, I used to, this is thousands of zillion years ago. This is when I first started. I was really one of the first to do this stuff. And, uh, and I did it deeply. That's just the way I am. So I understand exactly what's going on here. This is just, the potential here is just unbelievable. 